Trinamity! I love Trinamity! I'm not sure if I'm Elmo or some kind of crazy lunatic. Let's get started! Okay, students. When doing these problems, what you want to do is you got to make them look scarier before they get simplified. Our job is to make them not fractions. And so, how would you do the first one? The first one, you keep the bottom the same. And the top, I'm going to do a little business with him. One minus cosine squared. Wow! Now the top can be factored. When I factor the top, since it's a difference of two perfect squares, we can factor it with two binomials. One plus cosine y, and one minus cosine y. And then I get the cross stuff out. Let's kill him. <laughs> and then my answer is one Ma plus cosine y. Oh, dang it. There we go. No fraction. That's where our goal was. You see, we made them ugly before we can make them pretty. I wonder if that'll work for you. <laughs> Next, I'm going to take the three out, have a one right there, and then for the denominator, I'm going to make things look really ugly. 1 over cosine x minus sine x over cosine x. That's what tangent is. Tangent is sine over cosine, secant is 1 over cosine. Now I can subtract these. What does it look like? Let's see. We have the 3. On the bottom, we have a we have one on top, and on the bottom, we have a 1 minus sine x divided by cosine x. Um, that, that, wouldn't that be a cosine on top? Yeah? Oh, man, what's happening? We have 3. No squared. This stinks. Um, let's see. We have cosine on top. <clears throat> on the bottom, we have a 1 minus sine x. So what we're gonna do is gonna multiply the bottom by its conjugate. Whatever you do to the bottom, you gotta do the top, because this actually doesn't change the number. It just gonna change the way it looks. 1 plus sine x. Alright, let's see if this helps us. Now we have a 3 out in front, and we have a Cosine, uh, I'm going to leave that factored out. I'm not going to multiply it. Not yet, anyways. On the bottom, we get 1 minus uh, sine squared x. Okay. So, what can I put on the denominator? I can take this out, and I can say cosine squared x. Does that simplify? I mean, yeah. does it make it nicer or not? Yeah. We can cross that out. And we don't have that anymore. We just have this divided by cosine x. So, 3. And we have 1 divided by cosine. What is that? What is 1 divided by cosine? Secant x. Is that right? Yes, that's right. And then we have sine divided by cosine, which is tangent x. Final answer. 3 secant x plus 3 tangent x. And then you're done. See? Looked very nasty and then came pretty.